Today we're going to go through how to clone a listing. If your listing expires and you want to re-put it on the market, this is what you can do to save yourself time. For this example, we're going to use one of our test listings. And this is at lo located at 1234 Hogwarts. If you're on Legacy Full Agent, you're going to look up towards Actions, which is right above your picture and next to, next to the Corrections button. Once you're in Actions, you're going to go down to Maintain Listing, which is under Add to CMA. When you reach the Maintain tab, you're going to see a spreadsheet view. You're going to see one that says ID, Address, Address 2. Look all the way to the right where it says Action. Under there it says Select an Action. That's where you're going to click on. Once you hit that, another screen pops up. This has everything you can do for your listing. In this case, we're going to go to Copy, copy Clone Listing, which is under Virtual Tour. This is a screen to edit in any data that you want to edit, whether it be something with square footage, you're going to want to change your status, you're going to want to change your listing dates. So for this example, we're going to put today, and this is going to expire tomorrow. In your case, you will put this as active, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to keep it as unconditionally withdrawn. When everything is saved as you want it, click Save Listing. On the bottom of the screen, errors will pop up or things that you need to change on your listing. For this case, I'm just going to accept these because I have admin rights. For you, you will actually have to modify them. Then when you're done, hit Save Listing again. It's then going to ask you if you want to copy pictures or documents, if there are any associated with that. If you do, then just check the boxes. If not, just click Cancel. It will then tell you that you succeeded. Until you see this, you did not actually clone your listing. If you're done inputting everything, then just click Finished. And then it's going to go back to your original screen. If you wrote down the ML number, you can look up the ML number or you can look up the address of that property. For this case, I'm just going to look up the street. And you're going to see it show up under ML number for right here. This is the listing that we just cloned. One thing to note on here is the days on market. The days on market is the number of days that actual listing has been in the system. For cumulative days on market, which is the second part of the parentheses, which is right here, is the number of days that property has been listed in the MLS for a total of five years, whether it's different listing owner, doesn't really matter. The only time that will be at zero is if the property is sold or the days on market have expired over the past five years.